We're so thankful to you that we have the privilege together with a group of believers in this house, in your house, it's dedicated to you. A group of people that love to hear good music, that love to hear music about Jesus, about the gospel of Jesus Christ that saves the vilest sinner from the damnation of hell and puts them on a path to glory. Father, thank you for the privilege of being a part of that great, great story that I heard when I was a child and committed my life to him. Father, I pray that if there's a lost one here tonight, that that same thing might happen to them that happened to me on that wonderful evening when I accepted Christ as my Savior. The Holy Spirit got a hold of my heart and let me know that I wasn't one of his, but he gave me the way and, and I accepted it. Thank you, Father. We just pray that you'd have your way here tonight. Bless these the men as they come to share with us tonight. I pray that you'd speak through them with your spirit. May Jesus be honored and glorified. Lives lifted up. Lives changed. Souls lifted up. Father, and we'll praise you and thank you for all that's accomplished. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Tim's going to come lead us in the congregational hymn. I've been listening to these guys. Bob started telling me about them <clears throat> two or three hundred years ago. <clears throat> and some of them are charter members, I understand. <laughs> but anyhow, I've been listening to them. How many of you have heard them before? Let's see your hands. Okay. Well, by golly, we're almost all of us in for a treat. Well, I've, I've listened to them several times on, uh, on the Internet, on YouTube, and uh, just been blessed. I, I think one of the times I was listening to you guys were in a garage somewhere. It looked like they'd been working on a car. <laughs> but that was a, it's good. So I'm excited about uh, our service this evening. I want you to pray for them. The Gospel Plow Boys, they'll introduce themselves to David Will after they get up. But Tim's going to come lead us in a song first. Give you a chance to stand up and sing. This is the only chance you'll have for about two hours, so you better take advantage of it. Amen. Number 514. Y'all get to heaven, we'll sing all four verses. Maybe not more than that. See no one rush for Jesus.
Well, I don't know what to think about. My hands being raised out there when you ask if anybody heard us before. I always say I normally ask when we get there. And, thank you, Lord. Uh, if uh, how many is the first time here in the Gospel Plowboys, and, and there'll be some hands goes up, but. I always kid and say I never have enough. Uh, I've not been brave enough to ask if you're going to come back. <laughs> so we just hope that you will. And, and, but God bless you for coming and spending your Saturday night with us here. Uh, we don't we don't take that lightly. Uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of people says that, uh, you know, that you just can't get people to support things on Saturday night. Uh, but I, I believe you can. Amen. You know, I, I believe that uh, and God, uh, no doubt, can just reach out and touch and save somebody on Saturday night. Amen. Just Amen. as easy as he can on yes, Sunday sir. morning. Yes, and that's exactly uh, what we're about. Uh, we like to make that statement right off the bat. Uh, we'll try to give you plenty of music. And uh, we, we concentrate on working on our music and trying to make it right. But we have one ultimate thing in mind. And that's uplifting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And the reason that we go and do what we do is we, we want to see folks make decisions for Christ. Amen. And that's the most important thing. So uh, I, I hope tonight that something will be sang about or, or our testimony might touch your heart. And, and we don't want to forget about the saints of God. You may be saved, and but you're going through a battle. You may be going through some type of trouble, some trials or whatever. Well, we, hopefully we can do a little something here tonight to give you a little bit of comfort from there. The main thing is we just kind of want to leave all the bad things out there and just, you know, just ask the Lord to build a hedge around this place right now. And let's just concentrate on worshiping God here tonight and spending time together here. And the uh, preacher said the one video looked like it was recorded in a garage. Well, it was. <laughs> and I was sitting there thinking about a joke I heard one time about a, there was a, it kind of uh, applies to a music ministry as well, but there was a, a circuit rider one time that was riding around in the mountains and had a great big strapping nice horse, you know, and, and he was just a little bitty skinny fellow, not wasn't big as anything, and he went to a church one one day back, way back up in the mountains, and one of them asked says, preacher said, why have you got such a great big horse? He's so big and, and so masculine or whatever you call horses that's big and strong. He said, then you're just a little bitty fellow. He said, well, he said, I feed my horse. And I, he said, the churches feed me. <laughs> so we'll, we'll work on cars or we'll do whatever we have to. But, and that's just a joke. Uh, again, it's a privilege and honor to be here. Now, I know we've prayed, but we always like to open up again with a word of prayer and ask God to touch us. And uh, and just listen, if God touches you and, and, and you feel led to come down here to the altar, uh, you're not going to interrupt Amen. us. Amen. Lord willing, we'll have an altar time here after a while. But you don't have to wait for that. You know, the time to do something like that is whenever God touches your heart. Right. Young or old, it doesn't matter. And, and you'll not interrupt us whatsoever. And, and if you, you feel a hey amen coming on, want to raise your hand and just wave at the Lord, it's, I, I say all the time that's to the gospel singers, that's sort of like saying, sick them to a dog. That just makes <laughs> you want to work all that much harder. So anyway, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus. And God, I... There's nothing I can really add to the prayer that's already been offered up. Lord, we just ask now that you would just take us out just behind the cross. God, that we'll not be seen, but you be seen. And Lord, I just pray that you prepare each heart here. And as we were talking the other day, uh, before this world was even created, you knew exactly who was going to be here, and you knew exactly what seat they'd be sitting in. And Lord, you know the needs. So we pray here tonight, God, that you bless this service and, and just save that one that may be nearest eternity without God. Lord, may you get a hold of them tonight and save them. And Lord, it's in your precious sweet name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> There's
tried, he prayed to God. He prayed to God in the morning, noon and night. He cared not for the king's decree. Old Daniel prayed in the morning, noon and night.
not very much. Uh, we uh, uh, try not to do commercials doing a, a song service, but uh, we have uh, a way that if you'd like to take the Gospel Plow Boys home with you, if we got a way of doing that, you don't have to feed us all. Uh, we got uh, all kind of doodads back there on the table, uh, back there. Like I say, I don't like to do that during the service. Uh, go through all of that, and uh, if you want to keep up with us, I will mention uh, uh, we are on Facebook. Uh, come and check us out, and uh, if you like what you see, uh, we'd love for you to uh, like the page. And uh, if, you, if you don't like what you see, we'd love for you to like the page anyway. <laughs> and, uh, www.gospelplowboys.com as a website and and when the when the guys on top of things normally the schedule's updated so uh, we may have to fire him for long because he's not doing doing a good job keeping it updated but I think it is right now <laughs> that's, a, that's a that's an easy way of keeping up where we're going to be all right we're going to uh, uh, introduce everybody right quickly so you'll know who they are and. Uh, on the start of your own my far left from uh, Woodley, from North Carolina, is a fine banjo player, uh, a good Christian, one of the founding members, as the preacher mentioned a while ago, he is one of the founding members. Uh, we became a group back officially in August uh, 12th, I believe it was, uh, 2012. So we're <laughs> relatively young as far as a, a music ministry goes, but uh, he uh, was right in at the very beginning and uh, up in Woodley, North Carolina. That's Mr. John Gibson on the banjo. On the <laughs> <laughs> right here playing the bass and uh, singing an awful good up uh, uh, bass vocal as well. Uh, we've been friends for way too long. <laughs> but, <laughs> But he's, he's always a blessing most of the time. But uh, again, uh, what I, I say a lot of times when we go around places, it, it wouldn't be right for uh, these guys to brag on themselves. But they wouldn't anyway. They're just not that, they're not that way. But I promise you, I, I've been playing music for a long time. And uh, I, they could be playing with anybody they, they choose. They're, they're, that, they're that talented, in my opinion. And we're just very fortunate to have everybody in this group up here that, with that kind of talent, with, with, except to, uh, me being an exception, honestly, but they're uh, willing to use that and want to use it for God. Yeah. And you see, with our group, uh, we have, we have uh, standards that we go by. Uh, we, we can't just let anybody, just whoever join the group. Uh, basically, it's, it's good, good Christian first, musician second. That's the way that's the order comes uh, with with the group. But all the way from Rockwell, North Carolina, that's Mr. David Brown. <laughs> and before I forget, we're, we're missing one member uh, tonight, uh, our youngest member, and he's... Uh, just joined and just actually got back off of his, all of his basic training and played his first date back with us since joining. He's in the Air National Guard. And so this is his weekend uh, to work. And so he's not here with us tonight, but we always like to be sure to introduce him because he's a big part of what we do. But uh, even though he's not here, Andrew Brown, we want to mention him here, which is David and Tammy's son. So we're, uh, we're, we're blessed to have him as well. Uh, already here that you've not heard his, his vocal abilities and his guitar playing, uh, he's as good as they come. He's, I've, I've been playing with him, I guess, for a little over five years, I guess. And, uh, but again, we actually attend church as well together. And, but he's a, a tremendous uh, blessing to me and, and an aid and a comfort uh, just in general, just having Friends. You know, when you have friends, not, not only just a group, I've been in groups before that, that you dreaded to go play. Mm. You know, you tolerated it and endured it rather than enjoyed it. Yeah. But it's not that way here. But I, I think 
so much everybody up here, but from Concord, North Carolina, he's right here, hometown fella, is uh, Mr. Michael Jenkins on the guitar back here. <laughs> As I mentioned about John, Mike is a founding member, and, uh, and David might as well have been because he was in at the very beginning anyway. And but Chris is actually the, our newest addition, and uh, but he's actually been in the picture for a while. And uh, when Andrew had to go off for basics, uh, Chris was willing to give up of his time and, and come and help out so we could continue with the ministry. And his intentions at first was he would help on a temporary basis when and when Andrew got done, then he would uh, back out. But he was such an addition, and he is such an addition, not only in, uh, talent wise, but spiritually. And his testimony, he lives his testimony. Uh, we decided we don't want him to go. Uh, we want him to stay here with us, and he he, he did that. So he's a full time gospel plow boy, and we really uh, we love him and appreciate him doing that. And uh, he helped us out of a, a hard spot. But ain't it just like God to bring you through something like that that yeah. you don't know what's going to happen the next week and you come out better than you were uh, before you went through the thing? Yeah. Uh, that's just God. And, uh, so we, we fully believe that God, uh, um, we, it was made all where he was able to go ahead and be a part of it. And we're going to have him come up here and uh, do one here for you now and uh, feature him on the. Uh, a song here, uh, getting ready to leave this world, mm -hmm. but uh, but if you will, this is uh, Chris Miller from Salisbury. <laughs> Don't want to forget too, this fella here, he's a, a big help to the group, and he does a lot of the, the bookkeeping and book work, and we're real blessed to have him. He does a lot of talking. He does a lot. Of, <laughs> <laughs> we're real blessed to have him, though. Uh, he was in a pretty bad situation the other day he was riding his horse and uh, started bucking and carrying and my wife's looking at me I'm like don't you tell that again <laughs> but uh started bucking and carrying on and before we knew it the manager at walmart come out and unplugged it everybody else our mandolin player david <laughs> We want to, uh, that's right, stand up and make sure you know. <laughs> no, uh, we do want to make mention our families, um, everywhere we go, um, they go with us, and uh, they go through a lot, and they hear these same songs over and over and over, and even my little horse joke, they hear it all the time, so uh, we just want to thank our families for putting up with us, and going everywhere with us, and God's really blessed us with that, not every group has that. I guess it's your turn to sing now, right? <laughs> Get ready to leave the school. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jesus said, I'll go. If it were not true, I would have told you so. Just a little while to labor here below. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, yeah. I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. Been watching. I'm getting ready to leave this world.
you got a home in heaven, uh, you're lost. That's, that's, that's not my opinion. That is, it's only what the Bible says. You see, my opinion means nothing. You take my opinion and a dollar, and you get a cup of coffee at McDonald's. 
<laughs> I'm not much my opinion for it, but God's word Amen. is Amen. everything. Amen. And oh, according yeah. to God's word, we make the decision here as to whether or not we're going to hell. It is not right. right. I don't care what anybody right. says. And we're not at the end of the service, but I just want to put these thoughts in your mind. You make that decision here. If you have a doubt, well, I think so, or I hope so, or this or that, if you can't say, Brother David, I know that I know that I know if I were to die at this moment, then I got a home in heaven. If you cannot say that, there's a problem. I like to use this illustration. Being saved is like a light switch. A light switch is on or it's off. No in between. That's the way it is being saved and unsaved. You are you're not. And then regardless of what any other religions, if there's not enough praying, if you leave this world in that condition, there's no purgatory, there's right. none of that. You know, that decision is made here. So keep that in mind. Amen. But it's because he lives that I, 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 we have problems, we all face problems, and uh, I have all type of problems, but I get my strength from our Lord and Savior, Jesus oh, yeah, Christ. Yeah. It is through him that I'm able to continue on. Amen. And it's through him that he gives me the grace to be able to, to just do day-to-day -day things. And, and Lord, it's to be able to stand in front of folks and tell everybody how much I love Jesus and hear these guys do the same. Boy, I, that's a blessing. Amen. But I'm able to do that is because of Christ gives me the strength to do that. Amen. And because he lives. Think about that. This next song we're going to try to do is one that we do a lot everywhere we go. It's one that was recorded in the garage, preacher. I, uh, I like what you said on that. Now, believe it or not, uh, I, I had to, we get emails and stuff from everywhere. And some guy from singing a Southern Gospel group uh, from down in Alabama or somewhere said he'd been there before. He knew he had. It was in a volunteer fire department in West Virginia. <laughs> I said, no. I said, it wasn't. And I said, it is a, a garage. I used to work there until uh, I had to, um, I went out on disability to do some, some health issues, and I don't want to go into all that. Uh, but uh, it, it was reported in a garage. And, uh, and you know what? I believe that, that this particular song is the only one that was recorded that was posted with the testimony at the beginning of it that you must be born again. Amen. And I do a little short introduction, and then we sing it. We, we don't even have our get up on, and we sing this song. But wouldn't you know, that on YouTube, that's the one that all of a sudden start getting all the plays. And I don't know exactly where it's at now. It's it's, it's over a half a million views some, somewhere. And I say that for this reason. It's being seen, and I'm thinking, somebody told me a hundred and some different countries. And in those countries is they're heavily uh, in, in the Muslims and Buddhism and that kind of thing. But they play in this song Amen. and they're here and you must be born again before it. God done that. Yeah. We, we, Amen, we, didn't, we, didn't even, we didn't post them. A lady in Sanford posted those videos. Yeah. We, didn't, we don't do that. Yeah. She does that. Yeah. But out of all those songs that was posted from that night, this is the one that took off. And now, some will tell you, well, it was a coincidence. Well, I, I go ahead and believe that if you want, but leave me alone and let me believe God done that. That's, I, I want to believe that. So, we'd like to try to do that for you here. Uh, Brother Bob asked if we would do it. He said he had two requests. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get one of them right now. But I, I hope uh, that this song will be a blessing to you. Uh, just think about the words and what it's saying. Man, it ought to make a, a Christian be ready to jump up and click their heels. I'm telling you right then. I'm telling you what, brother. It'd be just fine with us. I promise you, if I, if I could make a lap or two around this place, uh, I would, but you'd be picking me up and <laughs> trying to drag me to a pew if I got half a around. But I hope it is a blessing to you. One for what the day that'll be. Amen. There is coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more 
tears to dim the eyes. All is peace forevermore yeah. on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. And I looked upon his face, the one who saved oh, yeah. me by his right. grace. Yes. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. Oh, oh yeah. There'll be no uh -huh. sorrow no there, no more burdens to oh, yeah. bear. No more sickness, no pain, and no more parting over there. And forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day, that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. And I looked upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. My dad died uh, back last July, and uh, that song was sung at his funeral, and I'm, I'm sure you guys know a lot of people that, that have sang that song at their funeral, but none of them were my daddy. And, um, I love my daddy. I didn't always know how to show him, maybe the way I needed to. But one thing I can tell you about my daddy is that he loved Jesus Christ Amen. with all his heart. Um, you could watch his life, and you can see decisions that he made throughout his life. They were consistent with what the book teaches. Amen. And he raised me and my brother in church, like Mike, <laughs> Mike talks about before. We, I had a drug problem as a, as a kid. We were drugged to church Sunday night, Sunday morning, Wednesday. I mean, anytime Amen. the doors were open, we were there. And you know what? I didn't always want to go. But it was the right thing to do. Amen. My daddy learned that at a young age because his daddy believed this book. Right, the same right. Jesus that we believe in, it's the same. Right. I'm just grateful for the for the, the heritage that I have. I, I got a papa on the mountains that was a preacher, and I got a, a grandpa down here uh, from Salisbury that was a preacher. But you know what? None of that gets me to heaven. Right. Right. I got a good heritage I'm thankful for, but I had to make that choice and that decision right. myself. Right. Amen. Um, the name of this song was Lord, I'll go on for you. And there's, there's been some bumps in the road. Um, everybody knows where you're at tonight, right? Amen. Amen. Everybody knows where you've been, right? Oh, yeah. Now, who knows where you're going? Amen. Amen. Okay. We hit some bumps. Right. And a lot of times we get off track. It doesn't take but just a little degree here and a little degree there. And guess what? We're, man, we're out of left field. Right. right. We're not even playing ball anymore. We're just looking at the stars. If you count the cost, guys, it's, it's tough. It's tough. But Jesus Christ, he had a tough walk himself. Oh, yeah. I've never been through what he went through. Have you? No. All he asked us to do is carry on. To tell others. To live the life that, that we're not capable of. To make an effort. So I don't know where you're at tonight. I don't know what you're battling with. Whether it's, it's finances, if it's a marriage, if it's a son or daughter that's wavered. But you know what? Jesus Christ can help. Oh, yeah. He's the same place if you left him. He's in the same place you left him. Amen. He's just waiting, wanting you. Lord, I'll go on for you. Lord, I'll go on for you. Through 
angels rejoicing because it is done. A child of the Father joined ears with the Son, saved by the blood of the crucified one. as I am. Right. The Bible is plainly says we were born sinner. Right. You didn't have to teach your children right. to tell stories and tell lies. They've they done that automatically. Yeah. You've got to teach them to do the truth. It's just we've got that sinful nature. But I, I thank God no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, that blood of Jesus Christ is there for you. Amen. Right. Right. All you have to do is accept it and apply it to your yeah. life. But you do have to do that. Right. God is a gentleman. He is not.